What's up guys, I'm Tin Lun and today we're going to take a look at painting some peonies on some Adidas Stan Smiths. And if you aren't familiar with peonies are, not just a funny word, it is a type of flower. And I've already done my sketching, I've already transferred my flower design onto the shoes, so let's go ahead and get started. So peonies aren't something that I typically draw. It's definitely outside of my comfort zone. A lot of you know that I'm typically a lettering artist, so I'm not as strong at illustration, but when I got the challenge to do these flowers, I knew that it was something that I'd always wanted to learn how to do. And so I actually spent quite a bit of time studying how to draw these flowers. I studied the different petals and what they look like from different angles. And I also I referenced a YouTube video from my good friend Becca. I'll link right here in the video. Her video on how to draw these peonies makes it very, very simple. For me, seeing someone explain it is much easier than me trying to study it on my own. So after having studied it a little bit and then watching her video, it really started to click for me. And I didn't want to start painting these shoes until I knew that I could draw a flower from scratch, from imagination. I didn't want to have to reference a picture to have to draw these. So here's a look at the process of transferring your drawing to a shoe. So if you have your drawing, you can take a sheet of tracing paper and with pencil, trace the lines of your drawing like I've done here. And once you have that drawing, you flip it over and you place it onto your shoe. So it's important that when you trace your drawing, you trace it basically mirrored image because you're going to be flipping it over and putting it on your shoe afterwards. Now I'm placing the tracing paper on the shoe where I want the drawing to go. This is um, pencil lead side down onto the shoe. So be careful when you're positioning, you may be smudging your, um, your graphite onto the shoe. You don't want to do that. So just be very delicate about where you position your, your drawing. And then once you're ready to go, you can take a pencil or just really anything, any sort of object. I like using a pencil because then it shows me where I've already done the transfer, but you're basically just going to color over your pencil lines. And by doing this, you're going to transfer the graphite that's facing the shoe onto the shoe. And it's just kind of a weird indirect way of writing on the shoe, so to speak. So I'm using fairly gentle pressure. You don't need to rub it that hard. I'm making sure to get all the areas because if I skip over some areas, you know, those lines won't transfer. So I'm making sure to get all the areas thoroughly and then you'll see that the entire drawing will be transferred over to the shoe. I'm not too worried about the graphite on the shoe because then I'm just going to paint over it anyway. And you can also erase from the shoe as well if you need to. 